to Switzerland! Switzerland! We're in our camper van about to hit the road. This is gonna be our home for the next 10 days while we explore Switzerland and the surrounding countries. But first, we wanna give a shout out and a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. More on that to come. And without any further ado, let's get started on this adventure. Let's go! Our first adventure was heading to the Mount Pilatus Railway so that we could take the cogwheel train all the way up to the top of the mountain. It's the steepest cogwheel train in the world, which is a fun fact, and it was Tiana's first train ride, so that was really cool. And then we got to the top. The views were just mind-blowing in every direction. We have never seen anything like this before in our lives. There were lots of friendly birds at the top that Tiana was very interested in, and we just were up there soaking it all in after a long day of travel. It was very peaceful up there. The winds were calm, the sun was setting, and there was barely anybody up there. We enjoyed it so much. Tiana was exhausted from our travel day, so she took a nap on the way down. And then we basically headed down when the cogwheel train was taking its last ride to the bottom for sunset. We really enjoyed the sunset. And then we parked the van close to there and called an early night. Do you guys want to hear a really funny 1 a.m. story from our first night of our trip? It's called jet lag and John got up to make sure our phones were charging and then he said it was 6.44 a.m. And so we all got up, including Deanna, and then it turns out it was 1 a.m. and he was reading the time back home. So now everybody's completely awake. It was a, it was a, um clerical error. <laughs> so now we're having peanut butter and jelly because nothing's open yet obviously. Um, Tiana's completely awake and wants to go to the park and John is just doing some work. So we're just going to be hanging out in the van for the next few hours until things start to open up. We did fall back asleep for a few hours but then the sun came out and priority number one was to find Tiana a park. And the parks in Switzerland were so awesome. This one had lots of things for climbing, lots of other kids to play with and it was very colorful so she had an absolute blast. After the park, we headed to the top of Harder Kalum, which is also known as the Two Lakes Bridge and is the viewpoint for all of Interlaken so that you can see the town and also the surrounding mountains. There's a restaurant at the top and views in every direction, so it's a nice place to hang out. Then we took the train back down. You'll notice the theme here, it's trains up and down the mountains. And we decided to head straight to Grindelwald so we could spend the night and wake up early to go to the top of Jungfrau, one of the tallest mountains in Europe. Grindelwald was such a gorgeous valley, the drive there was also beautiful, and it was a great place to spend the evening and then get settled in for the night. We're having a blast exploring Switzerland, but at night we still have to get down to business and get some work done back home. So that is where today's video sponsor Surfshark comes into play. We want to be protected when we're using internet internationally or even at home because it can be dangerous exposing your information, your bank account passwords, and everything like that to potential hackers out on the internet. So we use Surfshark to have our own VPN, virtual private network, and that is basically a security or middleman between us and the internet we are using so we don't ever have to worry about what kind of internet we're getting on. So right now I'm just working on some social media stuff, updating our accounts and talking with some partners and John is going to be working on his stuff as well. Tiana is sitting in the back watching a movie on Netflix. My favorite thing about Surfshark is that one membership gives you sign in to multiple devices so I'm able to use it too and I'm able to do things like check our bank accounts back home and do audits things that I wouldn't feel comfortable with doing otherwise and I sign right in feeling safe and secure. We feel so much more secure on the internet now that we're using Surfshark to protect ourselves. We even have it on our phones and we encourage you to try it out too. There's a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out. Also make sure you use code Rihanna for 83% off your subscription. The link to sign up for Surfshark will be in the description box below. And again, we wanted to say a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and for always keeping us safe and secure when we're browsing the web. Yes. 
We're headed up to the top of Europe right now on the Eiger lift. The mountain is called this, and I don't know how to say it, even though they told me, so I'm just gonna write it so I don't butcher it. But there is nobody on this lift, and it's usually one of the most popular attractions in Switzerland. So we are so excited. We're gonna have it all to ourselves, and there's beautiful views in every direction. This is the best morning ever. This is one of the main reasons we travel in shoulder season, which means it's just right off the peak season. Uh, sure, it's a little colder than most would like, but it's not even that bad right now. It's like fall weather back in the States. And uh, literally, there's nobody on this lift. We walked right on, and uh, we might be one of the only few on top of this mountain, which is gonna be incredible. Yeah, I'm so excited. We were so lucky because we were the first people up there. They let us go up on the staff train and nobody was up there yet. We got to explore everything totally by ourselves. So we went in there. There's a lot of caves inside the mountain that have little cool things to look at in there. We went in an ice cave, which was so cool. We've never been in one before. And Tiana was a little upset because Elsa wasn't in there and she thought it was Elsa's house. But other than that, she loved it. There were some animal ice sculptures. It was just really pretty. And then we went out on an overlook. Unfortunately, at the top, it was totally cloudy and snowing and windy. So they wouldn't let us out at the very top. We tried to go out on the overlook and this guy was like, go back in. Um, but then we went down to another stop called Eiger, where there's a glacier. And we got off there. We went hiking on the trails around Eiger. We found a little mountain hut for climbers. That was super cool. And we just had the best time. It was very windy and snowy. And now she's exhausted. She's ready for a nap. So we're heading back down to the van and then we'll figure out what we want to do the rest of the day. After reaching the bottom of the mountain, we decided to head on to Lauterbrunnen, also known as the Waterfall Village. Much to our surprise, there was no waterfall when we arrived because it apparently happens in spring when all the glaciers are melting. But we did find goats, so Deanna did not care that there was no waterfall because she got to feed goats. That was the highlight of her trip. We also found some really pretty walking trails, and even without the waterfall, this is a beautiful place. I am so excited this morning because we are going to be doing the thing I have been looking forward to the most on this trip and that is hiking up to Ochanance Lake and I cannot wait. It is about two miles each way. Apparently going up is supposed to be very steep and hard but coming back down obviously will be easier but I don't even care how hard the hike is because I've been wanting to see this lake for years and today we're actually going to see it. I'm going to cry right now thinking about it. All right, I have a question for you guys down in the comment section. Um, so every time Rihanna's carrying the baby, like right now, we just passed a bunch of people. They're from another country. They're probably from here, Switzerland. And they were like, it's not typical for the woman to carry the baby. And I tell Rihanna all the time, like when she's carrying the baby, even back home, I feel like I'm being judged for it. Now, obviously we take turns, but when they see us, she's carrying them, carrying the baby. And so what do you guys think? Is it okay for Rihanna to carry the baby sometimes? And me sometimes? Or should I always carry the baby? Or is it sexist to think the other way? What do you guys think? I think I can carry the baby. And that's weird. People even think about that. Yeah, but I was telling you, I'm pretty sure people think like that. Anyway, I want to know y'all's opinions down below. Let us know. We made it to the top, it is absolutely stunning. The views are mind blowing, the lake is so clean and clear and blue. We are the only people up here, which is absolutely incredible. And honestly, we've just been soaking the moment in because we've been dreaming about being here for so long and now we're finally here and it's just a little bit overwhelming. <music> So 
Serena and I have been extremely fortunate over the last decade plus in being able to travel some of the most beautiful places in the world and see some of the best views imaginable. But this hike right here is probably one of the best ever. The Dolomites is up there with it, but this hike was harder, making it more rewarding. And the fact that we have it all to ourselves makes it that much better. But even better than all that is now getting to share this experience and show Tiana the world. Like I think that adds even another level to this. And we can't wait to show her these videos when she's older and show her all these places that she's been. And uh, yeah, it just makes it that much better. We just had some post hike PB and J's, and now we're headed to France actually to see Mont Blanc. So we are Blanc. Going... Is it Blanc? Oh no. Is it? Oh no. Mont Blanc. Hold on, and it says I can do it slow for you, babe. Blanc. Blanc. Okay, well, I guess it's a Blanc <laughs> because John was very passionate about that. Um, but we are going to get on the train with our car. We're going to drive up on the train and take the auto loader like part of the way. And we've never done that before, so we thought it was pretty cool. And then we'll get off and drive through France. What do you think of the train ride? Train ride. We're getting off the train. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. I just had John pull over because I have to show you guys two things. One is the view, which you'll see more of in a second. And the second thing is these highways have no guardrails on these mountains, so if you go off the road, you are just gonna roll down to one of these little villages. But, you can't beat that view, so safety last here. All right, so we're actually in France now, and we just made it to Mont Blanc, and if we can ever find the cable car, we're actually gonna take it to the top tomorrow. And check this out. Actually, give me one more second. I'm going to show you a better view. Imagine living in this town and looking at this every single day. Is his name Alligator? Yeah. You named the turtle Alligator? <laughs> Can I see the turtle? What color is it? Green. I think it's a beautiful turtle. I think it's a beautiful turtle. We woke up this morning at Mont Blanc and this is what we saw. Somebody stole all the mountains. So this happens guys, bad weather happens and uh, you just have to build in a contingency day for it. So I think we're just gonna hang out in the town I think, depending on what the weather looks like. And if it clears up soon, we'll stay and go up top. If not, we'll move on to the next activity and that's just how it goes sometimes. Still pretty though. But it's okay, we don't mind a little rainy day because we've been having a really relaxed, fun morning in the van. Tiana woke up did some coloring, we had our morning oatmeal, and now John, Tiana, and I were just playing in the van, but I was thinking, you're probably wondering like what is in the van and how we're surviving in here. So we're gonna give you a little mini van tour right now. First I'm gonna shut the door because it is a little bit chilly outside, and I wanna show you this window, which gives you beautiful views while you're cooking. I love this window. So the gas stove is right here, and then the sink is actually right here, and up there is some storage, the refrigerator, and then more storage under the kitchen area. And then when you turn around, you have the front area, which consists of the two seats, which swivel, so that at night you can all have dinner together at this table. And then Tiana's seating area, where she sits while we're driving, has a window too, which is so awesome because she has views of everything. And then going back to the back, I know you guys have been wondering how we're showering and going to the bathroom. And that is right here, there's a full bathroom. So when you open the door, there's a toilet, there is a sink slash shower. This has an extension on it, so when you wanna shower, you just hang it up there and there is hot water. And then a mirror for when you wanna get ready. <laughs> it has been so convenient having a bathroom in the van. And then going towards the back is our sleeping <laughs> slash playing area where John and Tiana are hanging out right now. Um, there's a full size bed with bedding. Underneath is where we have like all of our bags stored. This opens up and then there's two windows that lead to outside and these doors open fully as well. 
Oh they have goodness. blinds so you can have privacy oh, and there is another oh, natural light at the top. So this van has pretty much everything you could need or want. What do you think of the van? It's really nice. It's a little cramped because of the bathroom, but the bathroom is nice to have. So we haven't had a bathroom before, especially one with a full shower and everything. But um, I don't complain when I need it. I just complain when we don't. <laughs> it's in the way. But uh, I think when we test out all these vans, we're finding out what we do and do not like about each van. Are you want to jump? Okay. Are you going to jump? Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> And now that I've given you a little van tour, we're gonna get on the road and head to Zermatt, Switzerland, which is where the Matterhorn is, one of the most famous mountains in Switzerland that we're really excited to see, and hopefully some better weather. All right, so we made it to the top of the Gorner Grot Railway. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Forgive me if I'm not, but we are the only ones up here. It is absolutely beautiful. You have Matterhorn Mountain right here. It's covered by clouds currently, but that's what we're waiting to see. There's fresh powder on the ground. It's probably got about a foot of snow last night. And look at this view. Guys, absolutely incredible. Tiana is having so much fun playing in the snow and eating it. She hasn't seen snow since she was little last year. And also she's never seen this much snow. So this is just absolutely crazy that we are up here. It's 11,000 feet. Everything is gorgeous, white, snow covered mountains and the air is so fresh. We are just gonna sit up here and enjoy it for a while. And there it is. All but the top is covered. I'll try to zoom in for you. Really pretty. We made it to the Blue River, which is called Versaska, and it is absolutely gorgeous. The sun is just going down. We actually left Matterhorn and drove through a bunch of small towns in Italy to get here. So that was really nice as well. And Tiana got to see a little bit of Italy or sleep through a little bit of Italy. When we tried to get her picture in Italy, this is what happened. Our plan tonight is to explore this river and then figure out where we're gonna sleep or camp tonight. Hopefully there's a campground around here. If not, I'm sure we can find somewhere to park the van and just take it easy. We've been doing a lot of activities today, so tonight's gonna be pretty chill, and I'm not even sure what we're gonna get into tomorrow, but I'm excited to find out. After the sun went down, we left the Blue Rivers last night and headed to this campsite, which is where we woke up this morning to a lot of rain. It is a foggy, gloomy day, but also still beautiful because we stayed on the lake that borders Italy and Switzerland. The rain is forecasted to go for the rest of the day, so as soon as Tiana wakes up from her nap, she's going on hour three. She must be exhausted from all her adventures. We're gonna head to a thermal pool, which is just down the road, and hopefully we can film there and show you guys how much fun she has because she absolutely loves to swim. You better not eat that. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh! You want to touch it? Sorry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> The pool did not work out. They actually closed earlier than we thought. So we went to the grocery store and got some stuff to make dinner. And we're gonna be having pulled pork barbecue sandwiches with tomato soup. So they actually have a lot of vegan meat options here that we don't have at home. So we've been having fun trying them. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As you can see, we have much better weather today. We now have a beautiful backdrop of the mountains over the lake. And we're gonna enjoy this view for a little bit. And then we're gonna get the day started. It's okay. Hey baby, sometimes we fall, huh? Get up, you can do it. Good job. One more. Yay! You ready, boy? Good 
River, we left for Zaska and headed to Liechtenstein, a new country, Tiana's third country. And she is obsessed with the place we're at. It is a medieval castle in the capital, which is Vaduz. So the drive over here was absolutely gorgeous. We felt like we went through many different lands on the way, but we enjoyed every second of it. And now we are going to just walk around this castle. Somebody's tired. <laughs> maybe take a nap. Good morning from Germany. We are in Lindau, Germany because we wanted to explore this cute little town. So we just parked the van and we're gonna walk around for a little while, hopefully find a cafe. All right, so we made it to Germany and we figured uh, we would stop in this restaurant. Tiana got ice cream, which she's thoroughly enjoying, as you can see. And I decided to get a beer because, well, when in Germany. It's pretty good. What kind of beer is it? I don't, I can't read that. <laughs> After we left Germany, we took the drive to Ebenalp, and we were gonna go up in the cable car to hike on the ridges, but it was very cloudy and foggy, so we did a last minute hike to this beautiful lake, Sea Alpsi Lake, and it was totally worth it. We're actually glad our plans got changed because this lake is absolutely gorgeous. It was about one and a half miles up, and it'll be one and a half miles back down. The sun just set. We've just been walking around on the rocks and enjoying the view. And then we're gonna head back down to the van and make dinner and wait until it clears up tomorrow so we can go up and walk on the ridges. You ready, baby? Uh -huh. All right, let's, yeah, you want more snow? Uh -huh. How much more snow you want? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> we're hiking down to the van right now and we are getting treated to the most beautiful cotton candy mountain sunset that you've ever seen. Today isn't going to be very easy. We're going to try to get all the way to the top to Schaefer's Resort right there. Huh. I don't know if I'm ready. So a little behind the scenes, this is by far the hardest hike we've ever done. I'm not gonna lie to you, we probably almost quit three times. Tiana's as comfortable as she can be, she's taking a little nap. But Rihanna's out of breath, I'm out of breath. The views are phenomenal, but this is really challenging. Well, we decided to go for it, and we're almost at the top over there. So, I think we're gonna make it. We freaking made it, Dave! It was really hard. <laughs> it was really hard. I'm so proud of us. Good. All right, we're gonna enjoy the view for a little bit, and then we're gonna head back down and drink some coffee. We're heading down now, and I'm glad because I'm freezing, and that was the hardest hike I've ever done in my life. Definitely wasn't expecting it to be that hard because the Swiss people said it was just a walk, and it is not a walk, it is a climb. We're almost back down to the halfway point and it is so much warmer down here. Um, if I looked a little uncomfortable at the top, I was very cold because it was windy and it is sunny, but once you get to a little bit lower elevation, the temperature increases by like 10 degrees. So it is so much nicer down here. I have a smile now. I'm not stressed out about freezing. And um, thankfully we layered Tiana with like five pairs of clothes and thermals. So she wasn't even cold at all. She was telling me she was warm, but I didn't layer enough. and. And now we're almost halfway back down and I can taste the coffee hitting my mouth. I want coffee! That is where we just came from, where we hiked up to. 
that is the halfway point hut. <laughs> And we are hiking all the way back to this restaurant that we came from right there. How are you doing? Next time, we're not going to feed her for about a week, so she's a little lighter. <laughs> Almost there. Almost. We made it back down. Got our coffee, and it was totally worth it despite how hard and cold it was and how wet my feet are. After that hike in the past nine days in the van, we were in need of some R and R, so we spent our last day and night in Switzerland in this hotel, which was a really nice change from staying in the van because it's getting colder outside. We were able to take nice hot showers and just relax for the last day. We did walk around Zurich a little bit, but didn't do anything crazy. We'll be flying home today in just a couple hours. We have to go to the airport pretty early because it's a busy airport here in Zurich, but we're so sad for our adventure to be over, but so grateful for the memories we made and also excited to get home and get back into routine and see our friends and things like that. We wanted to thank Surfshark again for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in the description below if you would like to sign up for your own Surfshark VPN. And we also wanted to thank you guys for following along with us on our Switzerland adventures. We really appreciate you watching and supporting our channel. Your guys' support means more to us than you'll ever know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, we'll see you next week.